Hello, my name is Hendrik from IP Adobe, and today I'm going to show you how to install Devil's Kernel 1.1.6b for ICS, Samsung Galaxy S1 i9000. I have to excuse for my bad English. I hope you don't mind. Um, Devil's Kernel comes with um, BLN support, touch wake, USB host, live overclocking, Brain fuck scheduler and deep idle version 2. I'm gonna explain what that means later on. Um, so I think uh, this kernel is one of the best kernels. I'm gonna show you that later on. And let's come to the future features. Um, the brain fuck scheduler BFS is supported. It's much quicker than the I'm completely fair scheduler CFS, but if you want to save some energy, use the CFS. We have the SIO scheduler, we have the VR scheduler, sometimes it's even faster than the SIO. We have the newest FIOPS scheduler, we have init.d support, we have Voodoo Sound implemented, and CM9 color adjustment or voodoo color we can choose between those two i'm going to show you that later on when i download the kernel um, we have bln version 9 support um, that means when you want to have um, blinking soft keys when you get a new um, not notification like um, a missed call or an sms you have to download the bln app from the market. I'm going to show you that shortly. Short. We have VLN Control Pro or free. I don't know if it only works with Pro. Just try it out. Um, we have USB host mode driver so you can connect your phone to uh, the PC and just uh, share your files and yeah. Live overclocking is supported too. Um, live overclocking is um, quite um, crazy. You can get much, much better performances when you adjust live overclocking. Um, you increase the bus speed, the bus um, clocking, I, I think, the frequency. I don't know if I'm right. Correct me, please. Um, so everything gets um, overclocked, like the memory, the GPU, the CPU, and so on. We have um, Deep Idle version 2. Um, great for battery saving. I don't know actually how it works. I think uh, the CPU is like off when you have it on sometimes in short. Uh, in the short time and it always switches between on and off I don't know or maybe just just very low um, frequencies so it saves energy very very much uh, for example one night I only had um, a battery drain of 4% I turned the airplane mode on and Wi-Fi off we also have BLX Battery life extender, but Devil doesn't think you need it. I think you need um don't need it too. Yes, some other small features are supported, and yeah, for all those things like um life overclocking and all those settings, you need to download NS tools from the Google Market or now Google Play Market. Um, it's free. And there is no pro version, so you have all features from the first moment on. And let's come to the download. We go down here. I'm going to um, post the link in the description down below. Um, first, uh, we have two download pages. They're like the same. I'm going to show you the whole thing on here. We have the different versions. 1.1.5, 1.1.6b, 1.1, and then um, BFS, CFS, you, you see that here. BFS is the um, brain fuck scheduler, 
as I said, much quicker, but also a little um, higher battery drain. CFS, completely fair scheduler, is much, much slower, but better for the battery. Um, BLN support, you don't have to choose that. Um, CMC, Cyan again mod color, sorry when I pronounced that wrong. Um, yeah, Cyan again mod um, color adjustment is that. Um, then we also have Voodoo color. You can choose between uh, the things you want. You can test it for the Voodoo color. You need the Voodoo control app. Uh, I actually think it's um, Voodoo um, Plus. You need to have Voodoo Plus. Just try it out with the free version. If it doesn't work, you have to new, um, use the Plus version. Then always download the zip. Just click on it and it automatically downloads. So I have to say I'm not responsible for any um, brick devices. Um, you need for installation, you, for flashing, you need a um, Samsung Galaxy S1. It doesn't work on, work on any, any other devices. Um, don't test it out. Just maybe it, it, it works on a Vibrant or a Captivate. You have to um, ask in the thread or just write, uh, write a personal message to Devil. Um, you need to be on ICS. I also heard that question often if it works on gingerbread or um, something else. Now I'm going to show you how to install it, how to flash it. We're going to um, put the file we downloaded on our internal SD card and then just flash it in um, a clockwork mod recovery. You have to have that installed. I'm going to show you how to install it on the phone, so see you in one moment. Here I am again, and um, so I'm going to boot in the, into the custom recovery, clockwork mod recovery now. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, we have to press the um, volume up button the power off on button and the home button at the same time so you already see I have devil camera on this phone but I'm gonna flash it again cool boot logo it will change uh, often the next times so we navigate to install zip from SD card, we navigate with the um, volume um, up and down button and uh, we en um, press enter by pressing um, the home button. Um, zip SD card, zip in uh, install zip from SD card, press the home button. Choose zip from SD card. Now navigate to the um, to the uh, folder. Sorry, I uh, forgot the word. Um, to the folder where the zip of the kernel is. For in my case, um, one modding Sachen, one modding, modding stuff. Um, then devil in my for um, one point one point six. I choose my kernel which I'm using now at the moment. This is the 1.1.6 BFS BLN CNC. Um, I actually um, don't use Voodoo Color because um, when I turn my phone on after I locked it, there's um, there are invented inverted colors. Everything is green and so on. I don't like that but you can try it, maybe it works on your phone better. So we press the home button now and we navigate to yes. Now you see it's updating, installing, moving the scripts to init.d. Now it's finished. We can now, we now press go back and then reboot system now and now you will see the boot logo change 
we see a devil or if it's another version we see another boot logo enhanced by der teufel the devil um we're gonna see us in a moment when my phone booted yeah Um, so now I'm going to show you how to configure um, the new in, um, flashed kernel with the app NS Tools. Um, I'm going to start it. You can download it from the market. I already show you, showed you that in the video. Um, so when we open it, we have four options up there. Tweaks, CPU, voltages, and settings. We have back backlight notification. This is with the soft keys, which blink. I actually have that off. I don't need that. So we can set the LED timeout, blink status, and the blink interval. On off, you you see it just happened. Um, then we have the battery life extender. I already talked about that. Um, actually, the people say as so some turn it to ninety percent. So the charging limit is only ninety percent. It doesn't matter how you, how long your phone is charged. It's only ninety percent. Next option is um, touch wake. We can set the delay, and I'm gonna show you how to how it works. Just we're just not gonna wait. So my phone is off now, so the display turns black. I'm just gonna tap it then with my finger, the display. You see it? And now I'm, I tapped it and just turn back, no lock screen, no anything else. We have a short issue here, a little bug. Okay, yeah, that, then it worked. So we can set the LED timeout. I just let it at default. Next option is the I.O. scheduler, the active scheduler, I always have no op. We also have deadline, VOPS, no, uh, SEO, SIO, and VR. Uh, and last time I always get um, force closes in WhatsApp. If you know why this is, maybe um, you can maybe send me a message or just a comment. It's going to turn Wi-Fi off, then it doesn't close. Next thing, the CPU. Um, we can set the governor here first. I have SmartS version 2. It's good for my battery and also powerful. We have IntelliDemand, Lils Active, MinMax, Lag Free, Lazy, SmartS version 2, Conservative, User Space, Power Save, On Demand, Performance. You can choose between those and you can look on XDA maybe what those mean. Then we have the minimum CPU frequency. We can set it down to 100 megahertz. Then um, maximum CPU frequency, just overclocking easy. I just let it default. Then we have the life overclocking. Um, be careful with that. It can really um, destroy your phone when you're not careful. Then we have deep idle. Um, I always have it on. It saves your energy. Um, then we have idle stats. You know, top on means um, Bluetooth was off. Top off is when the Bluetooth was on. When you always have Bluetooth off, just um, flash uh, framework OS, modify one. Um, at conservative, we have different settings like sampling rate and so on. Frequency steps, up whole, up result, and so on. Next thing, um, the voltages, default voltages, or maybe your own ones. Be careful with that. In settings, we can set set on boot when you're experimenting with something. Um, don't tick that. So when you get reboots, it isn't saved. So next option, um, disable service for BLN, missed call, and timeout, NS2 service. Um, then BLN is um, disabled, so it doesn't work, actually, I think. I didn't test that. 
we can um, load, save and also delete. I'm gonna save my file now. Test file. We can, we're gonna look, we have the um, smart version, smart as version 2. I set it to an, something else now and you see it's back on. Uh, we can also delete the um, the files, the setting files, and yeah, that was my video how to install the devil kernel, and um, I showed you some fun functions, the settings, and um, yeah, I hope I could help you, and give me a sub comment on this video, and maybe give me a thumb up. Yeah, see you next time. Henrik from IP at Ope. Bye.